Yeah, so I took the wheels to a tire shop and said, hey, I got these weird wheels, can you uh, mount these tires on them? They said, oh yeah, no problem. Uh, come back in a couple days and pick them up. So I went back this morning, picked them up, uh, paid the bill, uh, loaded them in the car, uh, came out to the garage, started unloading them, wondered, hmm, I wonder how out of balance they were. Started looking for uh, the wheel weights on them. There's none on any of them. Well, what the hell? So, uh, <clears throat> he got the receipt, called the guy, and I said, hey, um, what's up? There's no wheel weights on these. Oh, we couldn't balance them. We, we don't have the equipment. What? You didn't mention this when, you know, when I was there, you know? Uh, if I had just put them on the car and, you know, drove, that would <laughs> have bounced off the road. Um, so, oh, we, we, we don't have the equipment to do that. Oh, when I dropped them off, you said, oh, it's no problem, really? Uh, plus, they charged me, you know, the same price for mounting and balancing as just mounting them. So, uh, I don't know, it seems like every time uh, I, I hire somebody to do something, I, I end up not satisfied with it. So, um, I, I've been on the forums this morning reading, you know, how do you balance them? Uh, so, the general consensus, well, there, there's two ways to do it. There's these beads that you put inside the inner tube, and every time you drive, they uh, dynamically balance the the thing. So that's one way. It's a, it's new technology. It doesn't handle, handle lateral um, issues, just, just vertical ones. Um, they use it in semi-trucks and stuff. Uh, the, the other thing <coughs> is to go the old-fashioned way. Do a static balance. Um, you get this uh, balancing level thing. <coughs> the tire sits on top of it. It has a bubble level in the middle and you, uh, you you add weights to it and, until it's perfectly centered and then it's balanced. So um, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order some weight and I'm going to order some um, uh, the, the balancing tool and, and just do it myself. Um, and, and then, you know, I'll, in the future, if they ever need balanced again, I, I can do it myself. I won't have to deal with, you know, taking them to a shop. Um, might even buy a bead breaker while I'm at it, and then, then I'm able to deal with the entire thing myself. So, um, that's kind of my plan. Uh, I got all the tires back, they, they look okay, I was, I was worried they'd scratch them up, but, uh, there's a couple spots, I'm not sure if it scratches or grease, but, uh, I gotta check that out, but, anyway, I have them back, they're mounted. So my mom and my father-in-law have asked for an overview. Um, so here it is. This is the overview. Um, I, I can't paint anything right now. Well, I could, but I'm not going to paint anything uh, until I get a better spray gun, which is, you know, being shipped and it's on its way, but it's slow to arrive like everything else. So uh, in the meantime, I, <laughs> I've set the hood in place just to, to store it someplace safe. Um, and hey, look at that grill. That's new. <clears throat> uh, the surround is new. Um, let's have a look at it. <clears throat> it uh, these are sticking up higher than they should, so I think I'm going to have to compress it or something to get it down. It's funny. Nothing, nothing new just fits on this car. Um, every, everything I get um, needs adjusted. You know. The, the surround, the surround and the top piece that goes on it, um, with shipping and, and tax and everything, was close to a thousand bucks, and uh, euro bucks. So, uh, and you know, <laughs> you get it, and it's it's close, but you still have to tweak it to make it work. I guess you know uh, the fact that I can get parts for this car at all is is amazing. Anyway, um, so that, that's something else that needs worked on. Um, why don't I take you around the shop and show you what, what else I've been doing. Here's the boot lid. Um, 
you know, it also was was not painted, but uh, it's just sitting in place, uh, waiting, waiting for the for the paint guns. These are what I worked on uh, most of the week. Uh, it looks like a ton of Bondo on there, but it's really a thin skim coat. Um, if you remember, I, I had to uh, add this whole bottom section on on both sides, so uh, it was a it was a big skim coat to get it smooth and flat. And you can see here is uh, I think it was this one. No, it was up here. This one had the fender. Um, the mm -hmm, the what's it called the, the the wing mirror so i yeah, it's got a lot of bondo too to smooth it out um it's all thin bondo but uh, you know it's it looks like a lot um there's a lot of hand sanding uh to to get it level but i i'm happy with the results um it should paint up very very nicely it, these two need a, a final finish sanding before uh before primer but uh it's it's good so far. Here are the back back two wings. Um, this one's nearly finished. Uh, you know, again, lots of bondo, but it's thin coats. Um, and here you can see this one's still rough. I I just uh, put the skim coat on it, and it'll get all sanded down. Um, there's probably some more places. I got a couple. Uh, couple patches but there's probably some more bumps and stuff I need to find like through there but uh, these fenders were, were in really really bad shape but uh, they're starting to starting to get there if you like this video click the like button below if you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project click the subscribe button if you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video click the alarm bell your support is very much appreciated.